Listen, hmm, you know what time it is. It's time for another episode of your favorite new podcast entitled We Ain't You in an X. <laughs> This is the place you need to come in, man. It's right over here. <laughs> We're live from uh, the Panorama Brand Studios here in Houston, Texas. Houston's premier podcast studio. And this is We Hate You Internet. It's a show designed to bring awareness of some of the negative effects of the internet on our lives, as well as celebrate the beautiful simplicity of our humanity. <laughs> I'm Wilbert Hamilton, <laughs> your host, uh, sitting alongside me. Uh, is uh, she coming there? She has the new glasses. She feeling some type of way. I respect yeah. it. <laughs> she is her royal highness, the queen of quotes. Her name is Miss Clara Aguirre, <laughs> the eye master, Clara Aguirre. <laughs> 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 Shucks. Listen, uh, today we want to talk about. Uh, we want to just give an update episode on AI. I think it's really important to kind of keep track of uh, what's going on with it. Mm -hmm. uh, people are living their lives and they're just, you know, going about their day. Uh, but but there is a change rapidly on the horizon that's come. We've been talking about it. This is our third episode we've done on AI. Uh, and people need to be aware of, like I said, what's coming. This this shift in our in our society it's going to be seismic, you know what I mean? Uh, and people need to start preparing themselves uh, for it because it's going to bring with it a lot of innovation, a lot of excitement, uh, but also it's going to bring some trouble. It's going to bring some problems, uh, and it's going to further... Oh, <laughs> oh. Ooh. Bless you. I think that's the first one we had you in it. <laughs> a lot of sneezes. Our first bless you. I mean, our first sneeze <laughs> and <Man>. bless you. <laughs> Forgive me, but... Uh, it's uh, it's gonna it's going to it's going to greatly affect people's mental state, uh, their financial state. Mm -hmm. um, I should say, you know, economically, um, it's gonna further uh, distance people. Uh, families are gonna be affected. It, it, it it's gonna like it's gonna be a major thing, and um, people really need to start to. Like I said, really need to start to kind of lock in and start making preparations mentally, if nothing else, uh, for what's coming. And that's what this like this is this platform. That's what it's about. We you know we use the name. We hate your internet. This may be your first time tuning in, uh, and we don't actually hate the internet. Uh, this show is brought to you by the internet. You know, so <laughs> we say that all the time. It's true. Um, we use the internet for to do our research for different things. Uh, we use uh, technology to communicate. All, all these things, like you know, what I mean, like it's. Technology, technology is a great tool. And can be beneficial. Of course it is. But you have to use it responsibly. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you understand that it is a tool uh, and you do not become, as I always say, a tool of the tool. You know what I mean? And that's what's happening in our society. Like People are addicted to their technology and they're really, more important, they're addicted to the convenience that it brings. Uh, but... It is having adverse effects on people's psychology. You know what I'm saying? We've all been going on the list already of think different things. Like, this is it, and it's gonna get a lot worse. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, AI, as we you know, if you haven't been paying attention, it's 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 starting to further infiltrate you know other areas of, of our lives uh, as human beings. Um, and we just kind of kind of touch on a few things that you know, creative articles we've seen and things of nature kind of. Uh, bring some awareness. Um, so I guess we'll start off with, uh, you've heard about the uh, writer strike, writers and actors mm -hmm. strike in Hollywood. Uh, part of it obviously is uh, the financial piece. They want to be compensated uh, greater for, you know, what their, their contribution to the arts. Uh, but some of their fight is about the use of the implementation of AI. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a concern and I think rightfully so that, you know, if if the studios are able, they try to get them to sign things that allow them to use their likeness uh, forever. You know, but you have to think to yourself with the power of what AI is capable of, 
it can duplicate not only your appearance, it can duplicate your speech, you know, your speech patterns. Your voice. Yeah. Like, and it'll all it'll all together make you obsolete. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for and that's the actor side. On the writer side, uh, they're concerned about the use of AI studying their writing style. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then once again, making them obsolete. And that's what we've been talking about on all these episodes. That's what's coming. Like, like, um, I mean, we're looking at a uh, almost like an extinction, not necessarily of the human race, but of human usefulness. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, you know, the writers and the actors are trying to get out ahead of it, you know, and try to get some things in place and, in, 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 uh, you know, written uh, down on contracts and things, uh, legal agreements that limit that the, the use of AI. But it's going to be very interesting, interesting to see, you know, what comes with this because this is going to set a precedence mm-hmm. for a lot of different industries. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different companies that are already implementing AI, and they're already they're already in the process of making this shift where they're ad- adding AI and they're going to be downsizing. Like it's a lot of companies that are doing that as we speak. It hadn't hit the ground floor yet where people are being let go, but it's in the works. And mm-hmm. people really need to start trying to kind of wake up and be aware and start making preparation. We're going to talk about a few things a little bit later. Uh, but, Claire, is there anything you'd like to add to that? I think it's super, like, crazy that, that that's happening. I, I also, I mean, I I always thought that that's something that was super far ahead in the future. I didn't yeah. think that that would be something that we're dealing with now, but I think that the writers and actors are are doing good by uh, attempting to work at it now because um, I had actually seen like uh, a post of, I guess, a contract that I want to say it was one of the big streaming sites. I don't want to say a name, but um, it was a big streaming site that um, like these actors uh, when they signed the contract, it said that again, their likeness would be used forever. So my thing is this, like what I find a little, um, uncomfortable is the fact that most actors, right? Most actors in California and LA and Hollywood, they're not like Brad Pitt's Angelina Jolie's. They're not Leonardo DiCaprio's. They don't have millions of dollars. Most actors are like waiters, baristas, they do maybe like DoorDash, Uber, like they're not, they don't make much money acting. And when you, uh, when you put a, something like that, like you're really trying to rob them of what they, what they can make. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because I think that you, you are making them obsolete. Like the people that are the extras in a show or um, maybe smaller roles, smaller characters. Like that's unfortunate, Mm -hmm. you know, because you have people that are genuinely trying to work towards something, work towards a dream of theirs. And yeah, now they are obsolete or maybe they're desperate to make some money and they have no other choice but to sign that contract. So it's really unfortunate. I feel like big companies are taking advantage of people and and then it's it's a lose lose situation for those people, for those actors, for those writers. So it's really unfortunate. Very. um, And like I get. From a business side, expenses, blah, 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 margins. Uh, you want to make sure the uh, s- shareholders are, you know, getting hefty <laughs> returns. and it, It's like managing of business is a thing. And I, I, I don't ever want to just be like one-sided. I always try to look at things uh, from a balanced uh, perspective. But, I, but I'm with you. I'm with you 100% mm-hmm. on what you're saying. Like, uh, it's, 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 it's unfair uh the idea that you would that a person would even try to do that uh is really like i i, I can only, the word i can only think of is like sleazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> like um because you know i look at it almost the same thing as, as the music industry um where they failed i, I don't want to use the word fail but they they weren't uh as forward thinking <laughs> as uh the film industry is trying to do when the streaming thing, when when streaming came out, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, it used to be albums and CDs and all that, and that was that was the you know way that they made the majority of their money. But when the streaming services first came out, they didn't really pay attention. They didn't think it was going to be a thing. You know what I mean? And so 
uh, there wasn't anything in place as far as to um, to uh, account for all this extra revenue that's coming in on yeah. the streaming side, you know. Uh, and so, you know, artists, so it was kind of like this, you know, in the beginning it was kind of like they had to renegotiate stuff and it was kind of like, you know, uh, they 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 did they weren't out in front of it. They had to kind of like be reactive to everything. But the film industry is trying to get out in front with this AI mm-hmm. thing. You know what I mean? And before people are really aware of what AI is and what it's capable of, they're trying to get you to sign this contract. Hey, you know what I mean? Well, just this small print. Yeah. But yeah. like you, if a person really understands what it is, which they do, that's really a grimy thing to do because you're going to take this person and they're going to be able to put them and use them in, in, in any way that you want to be able to utilize them. Uh, almost, you know, dehumanize them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, take their voice, take their talent, strip them of their talent, their ability, and then you have it stored inside of a computer or a program, and then you no longer need it. You could throw toss them to the side. You no longer need them anymore. Mm-hmm. And that's like pretty, that's like, that's kind of dirty. You know what I mean? And like the yeah. idea is like, okay, man, we can make all this money. We've talked about this in uh, episode 10, AI versus the economy. We talked mm-hmm. about this. That That's the appeal. Man, we can make so much money. But if you rob it, your economy of consumers. AI is not a consumer, nor will, it, nor will it ever be. You need people that have money. You know what I mean? The people in your society, in your in your economy, money needs to be circulating. It needs to be passing hands. You know what I'm saying? But if you start taking too much money out of the consumer's hands, like your economy will fall apart. Yeah, it's it's way too top heavy. Yes, indeed. And we talked about okay, well then the solution or the the alternative would be UBI. You know, universal basic income where everybody gets a certain amount of money from the government. And the idea is appealing because, oh, free money. But it comes with a cost. You know what I'm saying? You best believe that there are going to be things that the government, you know, those that run the government in in the shadows, they're going to impose on the citizens that receive such a thing. You know what I mean? You're not going to have the freedoms that you once did. I mean, and that's been a move and a play for, uh, for quite some time now is that they've been constantly kind of encroaching on freedoms. I'm not a, really a super political guy. I'm not, uh, I'm neither uh, conser- uh, like uh, Republican or Democrat or conservative or liberal. Uh, I'm really not, so I, I don't want to think that it's like a, 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 a political a political agenda, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to spread a message. It's not like that at all, but I'm just saying like, uh, like, there, but but I, but I think it's pretty clear if you just look at the history, you do a little bit, you do a little bit of research, and kind of follow along how the decisions that have been made over the last, you know, last, last decade or two. You know what I mean? Like there's been a consistent uh, progression of encroaching on citizen liberties. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and that would only get like exponentially worse. If the government becomes your sole um, provider of your livelihood, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what you're dealing with if you if you have so many if AI is taking so many jobs. Like, people have to have money because you're coming as well, so then you have to give them money. And if you're giving them money, then of course that money is gonna go through their hands right back to the people <laughs> that are already filthy rich, and they're gonna just get richer. You know what I mean? Uh, then you bring in, and I hate to go conspiracy with my my. Uh, uh, ten for a hat, but I mean, but but I mean, I think that it's pretty clear when you really look at it. you. Just take the time to kind of look at it. you. Start putting the piece together, like, man. <laughs> this makes a whole lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I didn't read this nowhere. This is just kind of what I'm my observation. You know, you bring in you know virtual reality, uh, 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 AR, augmented reality. You know, uh, metaverse. This whole concept of people living their lives inside of a virtual reality. You know what I mean, and that becomes where they put their emphasis and their 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 energy and their focus on is living and living their best life in the virtual world, while those that know better and that have resource, mm-hmm. they're living their lives in the real world. Yeah, you know, people that's living in the virtual world, they going on vacations in a in a living room with a headset on, you know, going to Venice and going to the mountains and blah 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 mm-hmm. blah. While people that are actually aware and they have resources are actually going to feel the real breeze. In the mountains, they really going down the Nile. I mean, down the uh, uh, they actually going to Venice. They actually going and experiencing the world in real life while everybody else, you know, getting checks 
and barely living. It's it, like I say, it, it's it's you know, it's it's <laughs> and the idea is like, man, I was sure I wouldn't mind that. You think that, but like in reality, like that's it's gonna come with all kind of mental health issues. Yeah, even physical issues. Yes, indeed. Phys yes, indeed. You know what I'm saying? Mental health is gonna be through the roof. Like people are gonna be on medicine like crazy because they already are. Yeah. And the pharmaceutical <laughs> world is going it's gonna be an explosion in giving people pharmaceuticals to deal with their mental issues of loneliness and separation and all mm -hmm. this kind of stuff because you're not designed to function like that. And then suicide is going to go through the roof. People are going to really start, like, it's going to be a, a an epidemic. It, it's already kind of getting that way, but, like, it's going to be a it's going to be a major problem with people yeah. exiting life at their own hands. Like, um, goodness, man. That's true. I, I also think, like, it's crazy when you, like, thinking about that, right, how you mentioned people are going to, with the virtual reality, virtual world, when you think about like, I, I don't know if you've ever seen this article. I think I may have sent you some photos of um, the way that some scientists predicted humans will look if they continue sitting at a computer for hours and hours at a time, like with a hunchback, with even by looking at their phone, they say that the muscle in your neck is going to shorten. So you're going to have like this kind of like um, slouched backs and, and lowered head and, even just like the paleness of your skin or the eyes, just to think about how your body will change because your body is meant to move. You have legs, arms, hands, so you are meant to move and to think that we'd be doing the opposite of what we were meant to function as. Like, I can't imagine the repercussions of that. Like even some gamers, I'd seen some short clips of these gamers taking off their headsets and they got like a little bump in their head Damn. because of how long they wear their headsets for. Our bodies are not that uh, like durable. Like our we we can't just do whatever we want, you know. Like there are going to be consequences to that. Yes, indeed. So if we sit down for hours in a virtual world because that's just better, life is better in there. I can't imagine how our physical bodies are going to react to that. That's crazy. I just. Wanted to add to that. I felt I feel like that's a very interesting and scary point. More Dr. Bills. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. say, the medical industry is chomping at the bit. But uh, yeah. <laughs> let me stop. But uh um you know, so um it, it's 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 people really like I said, people really need to wake up. They need to start really thinking about this stuff. They need to start addressing how connected they are uh to their technology. Uh, because this is not this is not uh, uh, cotton gins and 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 uh, you know trolleys and all. like this is something totally different. This is this is this is going to be like I said. I can't stress enough. This is going to be a seismic shift in the way that we live and the way that we function, mm -hmm. and it's going to have seismic seismic consequences and repercussions, and it's going to affect us in ways that we are not thinking, we haven't imagined. Uh, I want to kind of move on and kind of deal with some other, some other, some other things that we want to uh, discuss. Uh, I was reading an, an, an article about um, in China, I'm sorry, in Asia, uh, in a certain Asian country, I can't remember it's off the top of my head right now. Uh, and I know in India also, uh, they have just implemented, or start implementing uh, AI-generated news anchors. You know what I mean? So they're the people that are reporting the news. You know, it's an AI figure, you know what I mean? And they, they have different, obviously they're backed by language models. Uh, and so it can speak all these different languages. And like, so it, it's delivering the news. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, it goes back to uh, episode, I mean, the first episode we did by ChatGPT. I think it's uh, episode four, I believe. Uh, five, one or the other. It's, 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 it's posted, you, you go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things we talked about uh, was just, um, how people, human beings don't trust other human beings, but they are they are readily available, or they're ready to trust, or they readily trust machines, AI, the internet, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever Siri tell them is like that's facts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so with this idea of when they watch the news, and it's no longer a person on the screen or a real human being, but just an an AI. Uh, uh, generated image people are going to like people are going to trust this stuff and you think about this this image is is supported or backed 
by a company or a group or an individual with an ideology. You know what I'm saying? And you best believe that they're going to feed that image, the information they want it to say, and people are going to eat it up. Mm-hmm. We talking about misinformation. Like, that is a dangerous thing. You know what I mean? Um, cause cause people think, oh, well, it's 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 oh AI, yeah, it's computer, it knows, it has all this information. It gotta be right, man. And I was, you know, we ain't even talking about the fact that you talking about a whole industry that's gonna be like wiped out and made obsolete. Cause you ain't gotta you don't you don't have to pay this anchor, you don't have to give them no dental, no or no no medical. You see what I'm saying? Like you you don't pay them. Uh you ain't got to worry about getting sick. Like, you can program it to wear whatever you want to wear and do whatever you want to do, look whatever you want it to look. Like, you can do whatever you want with this thing versus a human being. Like, human beings have limitations. It just is what it is. It, it, it's, I can see, like I said, it could be appealing from a business perspective uh, if you're not thinking about the human perspective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the, the idea, like I said, and like, that's just the beginning. It's going mm-hmm. to spread. Like, that's going to become a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it reminded me of the movie uh, They Live, 1980s, Roddy Roddy Piper. And uh, I can't remember the other guy's name, the black guy that said it. Uh, aliens have invaded. And, like, the only way you can see them is you have to have a special glasses. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Crazy movie. I watched it with my kids the other day. Uh, although, like, a little while ago, uh, they were, like, uh, they were intrigued. And, like, they were just like, man, it was so crazy. <laughs> it was so crazy. <laughs> a couple of funny scenes. Anyway. Uh, but like, you know what I mean? Like they were everywhere, but they look like regular people until you put the glass on, then you can see them. You know what I mean? They had infiltrated, taken over somebody else's body and like, they were just living around right among us. They live, it's called. And, uh, that's what it reminds me of. Like people are going to be getting replaced and you're not even going to be like, tell the difference. You just, and as the technology gets better and better, and better, like the imagery is going to get better and better, and better. Like right now you can see like the mouth is a little bit off, like the, the word, like the mouthing. Uh, and I've heard like the teeth also like they can't get AI can't get teeth right for correct. some reason. Some of, you know you see some of the glitching. You know what I mean? You can see it if you clearly pay attention. But it's going to get better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the voice is going to get smoother. Like uh, and like Pete, like I said, that industry is going to get wiped out. Yeah. Because why would you hire a person who makes mistakes when you can program this thing or it has a con or a person has a conscience or whatever? Yeah. But you can program this thing and it could just it just give the information. Yeah. Or and a person look, you have to pay. Exactly. You have to like mm-hmm. work around and deal with this person. Like AI is gonna just do what it does. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 crazy. Last thing, we almost gotta wrap this thing up. Um I'm looking at my watch. <laughs> <laughs> how, for, how unprofessional, Wilfred. <laughs> <laughs> but uh like, uh, and we talked about this, you know what I'm saying, uh, before, the uh, the AI influencers. Oh, my God. That one is crazy to me. That no, one, I'll let you talk about it. I know yeah, you're so, passionate about it. I saw the fire in your eyes when we talked about it's that. It's just crazy. So the AI influencers, essentially, with what I, I, I saw, is that... Um, there's these AI generated models that interact with their audience. They post these provocative photos and it looks like a real person, but it is not. And it's the way that they, they look is, is obvious. It's, you know, it's sexually provoking and it's so crazy because people can pay these uh, AI influencers to like, see them in certain ways and so on. And oh my God, that just, when I saw that, I just like, it's crazy because not not just that, okay, it's another job market. If we're going to view it in a business way, it's a job market that they're also taking over. But in the way that from, (sighs) you see so many incels already online. You see so many young men who, are addicted to viewing women in this sort of way. Mm-hmm. And and the AI influencer, it, they look perfect. Like their figures are perfect. Their skin is perfect. Their faces are perfect. They are beautiful. So from my point of view, it's just, man, it's going to desensitize people so much. They won't feel like they need women. They won't feel like they need uh, relationships with women or even uh, 
sex with women because it, it's going to get to a point where this is easier to access. It gives me the same pleasure, if not maybe more, because I don't need to interact with another person or care about their needs or their own uh, pleasures. It's just me. It, that is so freaky. And it kind of reminded me of this episode Literally. of it, is, oh, yeah. <laughs> it reminded me of this episode of, of Rick and Morty where they had like this planet and they had these male aliens and they would send robots down that looked like like the female aliens. And the male aliens would mate with these robots and the robots would bring the, you know. Yeah. And and they would eventually the nectar of life. Yes. And they would uh, <laughs> create life and and so on. But they they secluded the males from the females and the females ran like this other society. But anyways, it's it's just that's kind of freaky to think about, like that a human, uh, a human man could just get lost in that and no longer feel the need to even talk to a woman anymore. Like the that drive is taken from him. And it's so easy to get lost in that and to put all your money in it too. Like to pay these AI influencers to see their their virtual bodies and it, it and to think that that's what they're going to put their resources in is just so freaky. It's so odd and and scary for the fact that like what can come out of that? What what is going And then who's to say that the people running these AI influencers are ethical? What if they make them do things that are illegal or or wrong? You know, like I've seen some articles on that too of people using AI to generate um, child pornography. Yep. Yep. That is that is sickening. Yep. That is absolutely sickening. And there is a market for that. There are people that that are sick in the head and they want that. Like, who's to say that these people that make this 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 product? Are, are moving ethically like they're, they're not just looking for the money you know mm -hmm. so i when when i saw that it just it just blew me away honestly mm -hmm. you know i'll take it a step further uh that was a young lady that uh used ai to or trained ai to uh, take her likeness and then she was offering people to be like uh, she was already like an influencer mm -hmm. and you know she people could pay I can't remember. What, I think I can't remember what it was. It may have been like a dollar a minute, something like that. Uh, and she was like, she'd be like their virtual girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so like it, you know, it has conversation with you, like like you were talking to her. You know what I mean? So she trained AI to learn her voice patterns and like learn her her speech because everybody talks a certain way. You know what yeah. I mean? Obviously, they have pitches that they have and certain words that they use and the way that they use them. Also, it is able to learn uh, your speech. And that's what we're talking about, the writers and the actors. That's what we're talking about. Like, it, it can learn. Your patterns. Yeah. So it can sound like you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, and then obviously it can take the image. And so people, and she, and people were spending dough. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, the, like, so, so the initial idea is always like, man, we can make money. Like, that's, that's the, always the first thing. Man, we can make money. But people don't think about. How this is going to actually affect the repercussions? Yes, the repercussions of your decision, and 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 it and it's really it's really disturbing because the reality is this is the reality that we're all connected. You know what I'm saying? Like the things that happen in the world, they reverberate and it affects all of us in some shape, form, or fashion. You know what I mean? Um, so when you're moving in your greed, you're not thinking about how this is going to affect not only you. But your ne the next generation, your children, you know what I'm saying? People don't, you know, I remember uh, Steve Jobs, you know, he's coming up with the iPhone. They knew what they were doing when they created it. He wouldn't let his child or his children have one because mm. they knew how it was created, what it was, how addictive that it was. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? I'm sure his children have one now and his grandkids going to have one. You know what I mean? They got these headsets. His grandkids are going to have one of those. If not his grandkids, his great-grandkids. You create these things thinking, oh, I'm just going to make this money, I'm going to make this move, but it's going to come back around. It's going to affect you. You know what I'm saying? Or it's going to affect the people that you love. Yeah. That's how these things. So, so when you put stuff out into the world, you make decisions, you have to understand like these things are going to come back around. Always. Always. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so 
this idea of like virtual girlfriends and like and then in the influencers, you know, AI influencers, like they're gonna take sponsorships. Mm-hmm. People are gonna like companies are gonna sponsor this because they have more control yeah. of this and, instead of like a human being who can make mistakes, who can say the wrong thing, who mm-hmm. get caught up in different uh, controversies and different stuff like that. Yeah. You gotta pull upon you, you gotta separate yourself and then we are no longer feeling about an AI like thing like it can be programmed to like be whatever you want it to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like Barbie. You know what I'm saying? Like what version of Barbie do you want? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real estate Barbie, uh, Malibu mm-hmm. Barbie, you know what I'm saying? Lawyer Bar, attorney Barbie, like Dr. Barbie, yeah. whatever. Like whatever and it's one perfect. You want. It's literally perfect. Whatever one you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We're gonna wrap this thing up. Um you know, we're in the we're in the process of putting together a nonprofit. You know what I mean, uh, and it's going to be geared toward the reclamation of our humanity. You know what I mean? Um, we all use the hashtag hashtag Stay Human hashtag. Like, and 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 I'm I'm compelled to try to put something together to help because at the end of the day, like, up oh, that's our time. So you see, typically <laughs> we beat the time, so it don't, it don't go off. <laughs> Yeah, but this time we failed. <laughs> but I think that it's important. You know what I mean? Like yeah. at the end of the day, uh, you know, we want to, we want to, because it's it's going to be a problem. People, and I'll say, well, what do people need to do? This is what people need to be doing. People need to be focused on um, reallocating their financial their financial power. Uh, they need to be looking at trying to purchase assets. You know what I'm saying? That they own. Uh, so that they have something that can generate some type of income themselves other than just uh, government uh, subsidized income. Uh, you need to start thinking about your mental health, you know what I mean? And really start to be able to get in touch with yourself mm-hmm. uh, and be able to have the ability to be able to maintain uh, human contact with other people. That's important uh, because you're going to need it. Like people aren't designed to be by themselves. You say, well, you interact with people on the internet. It's not the same. Mm-mm. The internet is an illusion. It's it's a it's a it's a uh, a filtered world. Yeah, it's an illusion. Like I, I, I can't think of any better word to say. Typically, I'd be like um um all the time, and sometimes <laughs> I've been listening back. Yeah. I'd be all like um um, and, and. <laughs> but that's because I'm always trying to think about the best way to say something. Yeah, the clearest way so they can be clear. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> So anyway, we're going over our time. We're going to wrap this thing up. Um, you have to. St- people need to start making preparations. They need to start thinking ahead, and 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 try to unleash themselves before you know this this train really start rolling. And you hanging out you hanging out the side by your <laughs> by your leash. You see what I'm saying? Like you can't escape. Uh, the world is going to be lived by people who are prepared to live it. And those that are not, put your headsets on. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just what it is. You know what I mean? And um, you know, well, obviously, obviously, this is going to be an ongoing thing. We'll be bringing this topic up um, at least every other month. I think mm-hmm. we should probably try updates to keep and stuff. Updates. Yeah, mm-hmm. keep updates. Um, and I don't want, like, I say AI can be a great thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's a it's a bad. It's like the internet or like any other invention. It can be used for good. You know what I'm saying? But then, if you're not careful, it can be used for bad. You know what I mean? And there are a lot of decisions that are being made with AI without having any idea of the repercussions of those decisions right now. And so you need to be staying abreast on those things uh, and continue to, you know, do the things that will set you free uh, from this bondage that's coming upon the earth and ultimately that'll help you stay human. And so um, that's it for today. (laughs) It's not all gloom and doom. You know what I mean? Like, there, yeah, are there are things that can be can done. Do. Of course, of course. Mm-hmm. You, know, you still have a little bit of time to make some adjustments. It's not going to be where people are just going to be dying. It's not Terminator. It's not where people are getting shot with laser guns and everybody, mm-hmm. you know, everybody got dirt in their face living in the trenches. It's not. It's no. not like it's not going to be like that. You know what I mean? Um, a lot more subtle. You just got to go outside, touch some grass. Touch some grass. Touch man. some Let grass. The sun <laughs> go get sun kissed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's the show for today. Uh, if you're listening on the audio side, please, if you could uh, rate the show, uh, go down to the bottom, whatever platform you listen to, Spotify, po- uh, Apple Pie, whatever, go down Apple and just yeah, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> hit the star, man, five of them. It's easy. Just hit the five. You ain't got to hit nothing else. Hit the five star. And if you really like us and you really want to help us, then we would greatly appreciate it if you also just left a quick review. Uh, it helps push the platform along further uh, and it increases our reach. 
so that we can find um, and uh, engage with uh, a, a larger audience. Same thing if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, if you could just uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and, and leave a comment. Just let us know what you think. We read them you know, and we respond <laughs> too. Uh, and so, uh, and we're really, we're going to hear people's thoughts. So, and also that helps to push us along our way. So, um, we want to thank you in advance. And as we sign off, as always, we want to say, and we hope and we pray that you stay safe, that you stay blessed, you stay human. Yeah.